Arcadiana is Ali Bear. We're back. National Mimosa Day is tomorrow, but we're doing National Mimosa Day Eve here at Parish Biscuit Company. Uh, we got Christy Garrett with us. Uh, she is a mimosa scientist here. She makes all <laughs> kinds of stuff. You're too kind. So, Chrissy, what are we going to make? Right now, I'm going to make one of our signature mimosas. It is a poinsettia. You start off with an ounce of Cointreau. Now, what is Cointreau? Cointreau is an orange or citrus flavored liqueur. Okay. You're going to do that. Then you're going to put your champagne. Put your four ounces of champagne. Now, is the order that you Yes. Put these in the glass and pour it. Yes. Tell me about that. Okay. For this one, you want to put your liqueur first. Mm -hmm. It's the heaviest gotcha. of all of uh, all of the liquids. Then you want to put your champagne. Mm -hmm. And then if you do it just right, if you top it off with your cranberry juice just right, you can actually see the layers at the end. They'll separate because of the different densities of the liquids. Your heavier liquids obviously will stay to the bottom. Oh, wow. So you see the the fade? I do. Look at that. This is like science. It is. Holy a lot cow. of it is. We should be in a lab. Yeah. So you and I were talking earlier. I came up with an idea for a mimosa. We should do like a make your own mimosa contest. That would be fun. Amaretto, champagne. What are your thoughts? We would have to have something else to balance off the, the mm -hmm. amaretta flavor, but I think it's definitely possible. Okay, so all you got to do is be creative, think about it. Hey, we are going to go back to the studio, uh, National Mimosa Day. This is really pretty. Yes. 